Hey guys, what is going on? It is Minnie and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the 3D items mod. So if you haven't recalled, my previous video was how to install this on a Mac. So if you're using a Mac, go back, watch that video, and it will show you how to do it. For you Windows guys out here, I'm going to be showing you the same thing. So the first thing I would recommend doing is downloading WinRAR. If you're using 7-Zip, that will work too. It's a free program. Go ahead and download that, and it will allow you to actually edit the Minecraft folder, and you can edit the jar and all of the zip files you're downloading and everything. So with all the links in the description, I will have each one of these tabs, so they will all be in the description. So first thing you're going to need is the actual 3D items mod itself. So if you don't know what the 3D items mod is, this is what it's going to do. Your Minecraft is just going to make your tools and like blocks and stuff. Everything that you throw on the floor look like this. It looks really cool in 3D. Here's before, here's after. Looks really nice. So I would totally recommend it. I don't know why they haven't added it to Minecraft yet. They should. It would be awesome. So scroll down until you find the download. So we're going to actually download the 3D items mod itself. Download the mod loader version, okay? Because I don't like the Forge, but just use the mod loader version if you can. If you have to use the Forge, then do it. You're going to need to download all of the Forge things. But for this tutorial, I'm going to be using mod loader. So go ahead and click download here. That will download the mod loader version. Also, then you're going to need mod loader. You could also click this link, but I'll provide it in the description. So scroll down to you find mod loader. So go ahead and download that and just click that to download. And you're going to need Quinn options. That's how you say it, right? Yeah, Quinn options. And you're going to need to come down here and download the mod loader version as well. You cannot get the Forge version if you're using the mod loader version. You know, you know what I'm saying? They will be incompatible. You have to get all mod loader or all Forge. Do all mod loader though. I know it works and I've tested it. So all you're going to need to do is navigate to your Minecraft folder now. I've already got them all downloaded. They are right here. So to get to your Minecraft folder, you're going to go ahead and make a new window, new tab, whatever. I'm using an application called Clover that allows me to do tabs in my, um, my Explorer window here. So I'm going to do that. And then what you're going to need to do is go to down here and then type in, uh, you could do slash run or, or not slash run, but you can do run or you can do percent app data percent. They will do the same thing. So percent app data percent. And the reason I recommend run is because, here I'll show you this real fast. So you go ahead and do run. I have it right here. This is just the same thing. It will automatically remember what you did last and then you can just do it again and it will take you back to the Minecraft folder. So now you should find dot Minecraft. Now before I actually like, you know, modding Minecraft, I like to back it up. So all you're going to need to do is go ahead and copy it and paste it now refresh paste it to your desktop and what this should do is if you fail and this does not work you can just go ahead and put this back in and replace it and you will be all back to normal so the reason I am not going to install this mod on my current version of Minecraft is I already have the mod installed so what I'm gonna do and what I recommend all of you guys doing is going ahead and open up Minecraft and force updating so I'm not gonna actually show you because now that I migrated to a Mojang account, it actually shows my email address and I don't wanna deal with blurring that out. So for my laziness, go ahead and force update. And I'm sure you know how to do that. Just, you know, when you open up the Minecraft thing, it's gonna have options, go ahead and click that. The only option will be force update. And if that doesn't work, go ahead and go back to your Minecraft folder and just trash the entire bin. What that will do is it will just completely erase it. And then when you open up Minecraft and run it one more time, it's going to, instantly download this and you'll be back to normal. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now and I will see you guys back in about five seconds. All right, so Minecraft is now open up. I am now in the main menu. So what that means is the new bin folder is back here and ready for use. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this, quit game, whatever you wanna do, close it and go ahead and navigate to your bin folder. This is again in the Minecraft folder, open that up and you'll find minecraft.jar. So it should automatically have this WinRAR logo here. And then if you double click that, it will open up the minecraft.jar but if it doesn't then all you're gonna need to do is go ahead and right click open with and then winrar should be here and if you can't find it you can go ahead and just search for it so you could just do that you know, but I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and make that smaller and now we're going to go to our downloads and we are going to install all of these items so before I would do any of that delete this meta in folder it's gonna make you get a black screen delete it it's really simple it's not anything vital to the game when I first started modding I was like this is gonna break my Minecraft but no it, it doesn't you could load up the game right now if you wanted to it's gonna work so now I'm gonna install mod loader that is what I like to do first so open that up and then highlight everything or you could go to um, commands and then select all or actually file select all same thing whatever it is it's a command actually it should be a command so then grab them all and drag them right into the minecraft.jar and just go ahead and leave update mode to add and replace and press OK. So once you've got that done, you no longer need mod loader. We can go ahead and delete that. Next, I would recommend installing the Quinn options. 
So go ahead and grab that and go ahead and you know file select all and drag them right in. It will do the same thing. Make sure you have add and replace and leave it all the same. It should be all default to this anyway. And close that. And finally, now we can delete this. We don't need it anymore. And go ahead and go to the 3D items. And what this is going to do that's different from the Mac tutorial is it's going to add, because remember back there there was a quininity right here. Quint, quintinity? It says quininity. I like that saying better. But if you go into that, it's going to, if you did this on a Mac, it's going to replace this folder with this one. But we're using WinRAR, it should add it. It should add the files that are in this one to this one. That is what's different about Windows, and that's why I like WinRAR, and it works really well. So now you should have two things in here instead of one. Now, you should be done. You guys, you're done. Now we don't need 3D mod anymore. We're going to go ahead and launch Minecraft, and I will meet you back here in five seconds. Okay, that was not five seconds, but, you know, whatever. I'm going to go ahead and load up top in the Minecraft, and I will show you guys that it is working. So here we go. We are using the default texture pack. That does not affect it. Texture packs do not affect this. So you can use whatever texture pack you want. And you ready? We are going to go ahead and throw down our pickaxe. And the 3D items mod is in effect. Look at it. It's beautiful. And just look at this bucket of water. The boom. Wow. It's it's pretty beast. So there you guys have it. It is working all like it should. And it looks really nice. So there you have it. Go ahead and install it. It's really good. I Please implement this into Minecraft. Please, please, please do it, Jeb. I know you can do it. Just, just add it in. It looks really nice, and I really like it. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial, and if you enjoyed, I would really help if you leave a like rating below. That really does help me out. And if you don't like the video, then don't like it. I'm not going to ask you to you know, you know, do something you don't want to do. But why did I do that? What is wrong with me? I will see you guys in the next video, and I got to go spend my time fixing my house because I don't know what I'm doing. And, yeah, that's it. That's for this video. See you guys in the next one. Have a fantastic day. Peace out.